Don't you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. Uh. <sighs> Both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? I know someone. We must get to Ripadoc quickly. It will. Do not waste time. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow! Call someone! Anyone! Why... Why not just cut me loose? I'm dead weight to you. Make the call. Alright, alright. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the surface area. Just come. Pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica. In front of Bix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCF muscles. If I hit the vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. You in there? No! My head! How you feeling? Fuck. I don't know, Vic. Years of rain. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic and I realize it didn't help. 
I don't feel any better. And then... <sighs> promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I... I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? Biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V. It's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't omit a thing. Not one deep. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. Out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter Deshaun. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and then get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpotech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche! I make it back from the other side, and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is, your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body! It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Can we just take the chip out or s switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Fuck. I remember this thing saw it on... TV. Oh, it was a stupid slogan. Soul something. Secure your soul. That's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic, you've always come through for me. 
there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also... They should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? Just stick a gun in my mouth. Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? Jack was the best friend I ever had. I'm gonna miss him something awful. If he was here, he'd tell you to get your ass out of bed in the morning and do what you need to do. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep.
gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man! The fuck kind of droid toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! You work for start talking. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Find a way. You hear me? You never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Led to the head, only thing that will fix this. Hear me, bitch! A bullet to the fucking brain!
Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already tolled. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Warren. Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one to hold up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Danger lurks. Drama team NCPD, open up! Barry! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one to hold up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, we're not. Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Hey, Barry. Everything all right in there? 
I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. Seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah. in need of iron and lead, then I take it. Sure. Let me see what you got. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, B. Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend. Lucius Ryan. But when we've dried our tears, we must look to the future. To the future Lucius envisioned for our fair city. I promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest in peace, my friend. Ryan's political opponent, former District Attorney Jefferson Perales, also offered his condolences. Look, Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet eye to eye on political matters, and we sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we always shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, I say farewell to him for the last time. Thank you, Lucius, for everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck and neck race between Hulk and Perales. Now, a word from our sponsors. 